Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel. SAPSD and ABAP League support. Today we will see what is the configuration steps that we need to follow in order to activate advanced ATP in S4 on a system. Okay, for that let me log into the system. I will go to SPR path and uh, you can click SAP reference IMG. You see here activate business functions, execute this one. So this is the pr primary step that we need to activate the business functions. Okay, it is loading. Okay, click continue. Here you see four options. Let's click on the third one. S4H always on functions. So let's scroll down. Okay, you see two business functions here that is S4H AATP and SCM APO on ERP. So, first we need to activate this S4H AATP. Just double click on this. Then, currently it is activated only. If it is not, then we should activate by clicking this button. Okay. Similar way, we should activate the other one that is SCM APO on ERP. Double click on this one. So, this is also active. But this is the basic thing and this is the important thing that we should do to, the, to do the configuration. Either we can access through SPRO path or through T code also, it's possible. The T code is SFW5. Okay, activate business functions. Okay, the T code is still loading. Okay, it is loaded now. SFW5. So the business functions are S4H underscore AATP, sorry, AATP. Uh, next one is that SCM underscore APO underscore on underscore ERP. So these two functions we should activate in the T code SFW5 or in the SPRO path. Okay, the next thing is that we should go, go to the T code that is uh, OVZ2. So, in OVZ2, we need to activate that uh, advanced ATP for that availability check level. We know right 01 for daily requirement, 02 for individual, and we can create a custom one also and KP for no check. Here you see the last column advanced ATP. So here we can decide that for which availability check advanced ATP should be activated. 
if you click a means it will be active only for 0 to only so when wherever the material has that 0 to available check has been maintained for those materials only advanced rate b will be applicable so in ov z2 activate aatp for availability check group level this is the second step the next one is that we need to access so we need to once we activate this one then obviously in the third step what we will do we will be assigning this uh, available check groups in the material uh, level so whichever material should be applicable and uh, there we should assign this available check groups and uh, i would like to highlight here is that in s4 and a system daily requirements 0 1 won't work here that is obsolete only 0 2 and other will be applicable so daily requirements is inactivated in s4 on a system Okay, in OPJL, we can uh, define that uh, new checking rules. Let me note it down. Define checking rules in OPJL. So this is uh, um, this uh, this is this is what we follow in. Uh, our traditional ATP or APO as well, same thing. So the first two are the critical thing, which is specifically to activate that S4 HANA advanced ATP. So rest and all, um, same only. As usual, what we follow in traditional ATP configuration. Okay, finally, we will define that scope of check right in the T code OPCSA. Let me open that. Yeah, so with the combination of availability check and checking rule, we will be defining this scope of check. The T code is OPJJ. But you should remember these two only important this and all similar thing what we follow in the traditional systems this is for basically activating the advanced atp and uh, later in upcoming videos we will see other configurations required for uh, different functionalities in uh, atp like uh, what configuration required for back order processing and uh, alternative based confirmation right so these things and all separate configurations we can see in upcoming classes or sessions so for these backer processing proto availability check and uh, abc configurations everything will be works based on theory apps only i will see i will see in my system whether uh, the role relevant role assigned in my profile to activate that uh, apps relevant to this aatp in field launchpad if that is available then it's very easy for me to explain okay friend that's it for this video we can catch up in the next video bye for now